Alrighty everybody, now we have got a very, very exciting video to talk about today. Now usually when I do make these rants on SML so to speak, they're usually about bad things, alright? It's usually never a good sign. Um, in most cases, you know, I'm, I'm usually talking about, oh, how the characters are trash, or how the videos have been trashed, or, you know, how the year's not off to a great start, whatever, this and that. But this time we have an actually good, um, recognizing ovation for Logan here. Um, and it is actually a very surprising turn of events. Now, in this video, I don't only want to cover, um, what SML's been doing so good in the month of February, and why the month of February has actually been one of the best months of SML we've seen in recent times. But also, a more important thing is how Logan can improve to continue on these paths. Um, so if Logan does happen to ever watch this video, uh, he knows what to do. And uh, yeah, if you guys are going to want to enjoy, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as always, and let's get right onto it. So February so far is not finished. Obviously, it is February um, 19th, I believe, 20th, as of recording this video. And yeah, which means that we still have 10 more days, so probably a couple more videos. Um, but this video is dropping just after the Spy Balloon video came out, and the Spy Balloon video was actually what, what made me want to make this video. Now, if we look at the, um, the roster selection, so to speak, for February, we have um, Groundhog Day, which was a 18 minute long video, Jeffy the Sketch Artist, which was like a 19 minute long video, and that was very confusing. A lot of people kind of got bugged out by that because they were like, what the hell's happening? And they were alright videos, alright, don't get me wrong, Jeffy the Sketch Artist definitely, definitely had its problems, um, but Groundhog Day was a cool concept based on the actual movie. Um, and then Dunkin' Donuts was another video, the, a video that was pretty entertaining to say the least. Obviously, in my opinion, there were a couple flaws with it, but it was a very entertaining video. Um, Brooklyn Guy's Guilt, again, another one, kind of a letdown. But then we start to see a spiral in great, great videos, where we have the ticket problem, Jeffy gets knocked out, and the spy balloon, all back to back to back. Amazing videos with amazing plots, in my opinion. Um, some people didn't like Jeffy gets knocked out, which I think is completely fair, but again, amazing amazing plots and that's been a same ongoing theme with this month of february the plots have been great groundhog day was a great plot right obviously it was based off a movie you can't really go wrong so groundhog day amazing plot jeffy the sketch artist was well maybe not a great plot but we'll let that slide dunkin donuts was pretty interesting about the lawsuit and all that broken guy's guilt again a decent enough plot to keep the video going and you know it's something that we've we have kind of seen before with Brooklyn Guy, um, which is why I wasn't too uh, phased by it, you know, when Brooklyn Guy crashed the plane and he was getting all mopey about what he did and things like that. Uh, so, yeah, to a lot of people and to myself, you know, that video did, uh, didn't, like, hit home as much as it should. Um, but then the ticket problem, absolutely beautiful plot. Um, Jeffy gets knocked out, amazing plot. And then Spy Balloon, fantastic plot. There's literally... The plots have been getting better, and honestly, the fact that Logan has been actually uploading, even while he has been sick, I think is pretty amazing to say the least. Um, but here's what I think Logan could do to improve on these um, good things that he has been doing. So I want to start off by saying that Logan already, um, he, he, he already fixed some of his problems, okay? Now, first of all, when we first started the year, and this is why I think January was so much worse than February, and why February is, like, such a big jump, um, is in that January had some of the worst videos we've ever seen from Logan. Like, just genuinely. Um, in terms of the filler, the filler level was unreal. We had the hockey game, Jeffy's Kiss, Goodman's Wife, and Junior's Net Resolution all in the same four videos in a row, um, which were awful to watch in terms of the the entire uh filler aspect of it um the filler was brutal we all know that okay and then that's just something that we can agree on um but that's one thing that logan has not been doing in these later videos um again spy balloon jeffy gets knocked out ticket problem brooklyn guys guilt dunkin donuts we haven't really seen much filler in those um like not at all they've been pretty much straight to the point like i was already talking yesterday like literally the um the chinese spy balloon or the spy balloon video literally had the plot running in a minute in a minute and 30 seconds they were already outside shooting the rock like that is incredible and that's incredible and that, that's why i have to like praise logan for doing that 
Um, like, I'll give credit where credit is due. You guys know me. Like, I'll give the credit where they deserve it. But if they don't deserve it, I'm going to flat out tell them to their face they don't deserve it. But they have been on a hot streak. And part of that is due to the filler being removed. Also, they've been much more professional with their videos lately. They haven't really been laughing anymore. Um, which I think is a good thing. You know, some people do like that. It adds a more quirky element to the video. But for me personally, I think it's just better if we don't do that. Because um, there typically tends to be a lot more problems associated. Like, you know, you're trying to be a little bit more professional, right? I, I understand it is a puppet making video YouTuber. But I don't think that should mean, um, I don't think that should mean a whole lot in terms of how you're able to get away with these things. Because at the end of the day, it is not professional. And it, it's just kind of, it, it's not funny when you do it for eight videos in a row. It really isn't. Uh, and that's kind of something that I'm glad they fixed, okay? They haven't been laughing in their videos at all, really, in the month of February. And I think that's also another big step. Like, I feel like the step from January to February is, like, huge. It's so huge you can't even walk on top of it. Um, it really, really is a drastic change. Uh, but here's a couple things that I would like to actually change about um, SML currently. Um, number one, can we can we make more videos that are actually more interactive with um, you know the Junior Trio and the Jeffy Trio? Because I think the last two videos you did that on actually worked really, really well. And I would love to see that again. So please, and thank you, please make it happen. Um, these have actually been very good videos for those reasons. Now, I'm not saying they always should end up that way. But I do think some crossovers, more often than not, should be happening. Um, and I think it's been contributing to what makes these videos good. Um, but again, another thing that I think Logan should do to make his channel a little bit better, um, and something he could improve on personally, um, again, take this, take this with a grain of salt, really. But I feel like Logan should focus more on getting a video plot ready and trying to then make jokes out of that, okay? Because typically what happens in a video is... Listen, I don't know how they make the scripts and, and stuff like that, okay? I'm really no behind the scenes, man. I don't know anything like that. But what I do know is that from my experience with making uh, plush videos is that I tend to focus a lot more on how I can make each line funny, right? And how I can make each line funnier than the next one, you know? Um, but, you know, then you start kind of losing track of the plot. And then you realize that, oh, shoot, we didn't actually do anything in this video. So I think Logan should start by, you know, either listening to fan suggestions for plots or by coming up with creative plots of his own. And then after after making that plot, just try to naturally fit in jokes that make sense. Um, and I'm I think it's just like that was just a tip to kind of how to make videos. And that's something that I've learned after making my very first um, plush video. I think it goes a long way. Right. And so I think that if you. If you first focus on the plot, focus on which characters are going to be involved in what scenes, then, and then, you can actually go on to start, um, you know, plugging in phrases for these characters uh, that will be funny. Um, now look, again, overall, I think Logan's been fixing a lot of his issues, right? I've already talked about a couple of the problems he has been fixing, um, but I want you guys to let me know in the comments below if you guys agree. Like, do you guys agree that February's been a much better month for SML than January has? And do you agree with the f uh, with my feedback that I've given Logan uh, for this video? Uh, this was just supposed to be kind of like a rambling, talking video. It wasn't meant to be anything special, oh my dear lord. Um, <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be anything crazy like that. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video at least, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as always. Again, uh, I just wanted to talk with, with the fans out here. See what you guys think as well. See if we're on the same page. And without further ado guys, peace out everybody.